Hi all, this is another video by the Big Blue Dome. Um, this is just constantly the ongoing upgrade I have with my LX65 8 inch um, for trying to work out the perfect setup for astrophotography just using my mobile phone. Um, I think I might have come up with it. So this is the Mead LX65 as you can see. I've had it for about a year and a half now. Um, and what, when you first buy this thing, um, the advertising says, yep, you can put a scope on the other side. It will take up to, I think, it's about five kilos. The only problem is, is it doesn't seem anywhere on the planet uh, you can buy an under five kilo um, tube to stick on the other side without sort of, you know, weighing it down. So what I've done is I've combined this with my Celestron um, little push to, and I've just changed a few things about it. So I've put the finder scope on the top. And as we turn around, voila. So you can see here, this is the Explorer Scope 114AZ on this side. Um, and the Celestron um, Nex YZ, I think it's called, that I use for my mobile phone. And the eyepiece is my new favorite, which is the Panoptic 24mm. Um, this setup seems to be really, really good. I haven't actually, I only put it together today as I had to put a long dovetail and, heaven forbid, weld holes into the scope to actually mount it on. Um, but it seems to work actually quite well. Um, what I had, did find tricky was actually aligning um, both scopes together. So you've really got to be tricky and um, really, it's taken about an hour to like get everything lined up, like the red dot, the scope, this scope and the finder scope, but using one of these, which has got the crosshairs in the middle, probably can't see that there, but there's crosshairs in the middle where you can line everything up in one go. Seems to actually work quite well. Because what I found is, my interest is uh, phone, ast mobile phone astrophotography, but what you find is, anyone who has done it, you'll find that when you put your phone on this part here, in it's dark, you drop things, and you cannot align it up properly for the absolute life of you. So what I've decided to have a go at is during the daytime, a line, put my phone in here, align it with the eyepiece, just something terrestrial. And now I know that these are perfectly aligned. So I can actually look through when I put an eyepiece, obviously got no eyepiece in it, an eyepiece here, look through it. So I can actually look at what I'm trying to capture um, as far as whether it's a nebula or a cluster, who knows, whatever really. Um, I can then look through this scope and not touch this one at all. So the settings on this, I don't have to fiddle around with it, look through the finder scope to see what I'm looking at. I can actually do, have a bit of fun with, you know, the mobile phone astrophotography, as well as do, doing some visual observation on the other side. The beauty with this setup is that being go-to, I can have two people can look through a scope at the same time. I can enjoy, enjoy just actually observing um, whatever I want to look at and take some you know pictures at the same time. Uh, the phone I use is Samsung Galaxy uh, S20 Ultra, which so far is really, really good. Um, so anyway, something to consider before you buy this scope. Still really, really happy with it. Um, the only thing is if you were going to buy a scope, instead of spending like a billion dollars of something that's gonna fit, this one only costs about $250, being the Cellstrong Explorer scope. Um, with that price price bracket, I actually don't mind um, drilling holes in it, which you know was against the grain, but I did it anyway. And also, what I've done is that with the dovetail, it's so particular about its setting that you know if you just if I took this off and packed it up and put it back on, I'd have no idea where it went. So I'll just put some um, indexing marks so that when I put this back onto this single arm, um, it'll be roughly calibrated. Not completely, but enough to sort of only spend maybe 15, 20 minutes of aligning again in the field. Anyway, still really happy with it. Very, very portable, as you can see. Um, good fun, and I think so far this is always evolving, but probably the best uh, cell phone, mobile phone, astrophotography setup I have got so far. Thanks.